It's January, and that means summer holidays. Now most of you, when you book a hotel, wouldn't think too much about the structure of the hotel's prices. But not the price wizard. I live and breathe this stuff. So back in October, when I went to book our hotel for the family's annual summer holiday, this is what I saw on the hotel's website. All the prices and room availability are laid out really neatly. So far, so good. So then I got down into the detail. Now you can see here that I've labelled all of the three bedroom rooms with a purple box around them just to highlight which ones those are. Now the first thing that I found really interesting is that from the 12th of January that the prices of all the three bedroom rooms fell drastically. You can see here from 480 to 320. Uh, here they went down to 320, here from 480 to 320 as well. In contrast, the two bedroom rooms either remained the same or only fell slightly. So here they stay at 380 uh, and up here they fall a little bit from 420 to 350 but not that much. So there's a big drop off for the three bedroom prices, not for the two bedroom prices. And that seems really odd to me. I don't think that they can both be right. As a result of that, we have this anomaly where the three bedroom rooms actually become cheaper than the two bedroom rooms from the 12th of January onwards. Have a look at this, two bedrooms, 350 here, that one's already sold, uh, that one's 380, whereas all of the three bedroom ones are 320, 320, 320. So you can anticipate what is going to happen here. Customers are going to come along. They might only need a two bedroom room, but they'll see that they can get a three bedroom room for cheaper. So they're going to snap up all of the three bedroom rooms. And then if somebody comes along who actually needs a three bedroom apartment, then it's bad luck. They've all been sold to the two bedroom people who didn't actually need the three bedrooms, but they've just taken the three bedrooms anyway. So what I did then was I came back to this same website two months later in December just to see what had changed. So the top half is the same screen you just saw from October and the bottom half is what this looked like in December. So my first observation is there's not a single rate on this entire page that has changed. So I'm not sure what the hotel staff were doing in the two months, but one thing they were not doing is managing their revenue effectively because they haven't adjusted a single price. And that includes not having fixed the anomaly that I referred to earlier, where the three bedroom prices are still lower, so you've got 320 here for example, still lower than the two bedroom prices of 350 and 380. The second thing, as I had anticipated, is that the three bedroom rooms are more heavily booked than the two bedroom rooms, and that's hardly surprising because the prices are lower, but you're getting more value for your money. So we look here, three bedroom, like compare these two, there's more bookings in the three bedroom than in the two bedroom. Um, look down here, this three bedroom nearly sold out for the entire period. Uh, this one sold out for most of the period. This two bedroom has a lot of vacancies both here and here. So that didn't really surprise me, but it has turned out as I had anticipated. And then something that's a little bit more subtle, the hotel actually had a minimum seven day booking period. So nobody should have been able to book for less than a seven day consecutive period. As it turns out, if anybody had called up the hotel, the staff were only too obliging in waiving that. And you can see someone's done that here, for example, and they've managed to book for one day. And that might have helped that one customer, but it means the hotel has virtually no chance of selling these other rooms here on the 10th and the 12th of January. So they're going to miss out on more revenue there as well. Overall, this hotel could be generating a lot more revenue. And not only that, if they fill more rooms, they'd have more happy customers too. 
Clearly, they're making some significant mistakes. If I happen to bump into the manager of the hotel when I'm staying there, I'll be making three recommendations. I'll be telling him that they need to reduce their prices regularly. I'll be telling him they should be looking at the relativity between the prices of the different rooms. And I'll also be telling him that the best way for them to get all of this right is to be using software rather than relying solely on humans, because humans can't always get pricing right. And if I can't find the manager of the hotel, I'm off to the beach. <laughs>